Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office with Larry's case. It is a rescue Brandemark case. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, there's a series of, of videos that are, um, are filmed before we filmed this one. This is our last of uh, possibly six um, that we've filmed. This is um, our patient's uh, two-unit splinted bridge. It, it was made um, many years ago. Uh, in great shape. Uh, maybe the porcelain's worn a little bit to his bite, but he's so looking forward to getting this back in today. I've already placed a prosthetic screw in the um, in the implant uh, position of uh, number 20, and so that's inside. And, and 19 is 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 out right now. So we're looking at the side of the bridge. Now I'm going to just show you the the part number. For that, now these are prosthetic screws. Again, uh, they're uh, the hex on them is internal, and they're 0 0.05 uh, titanium hex screws, about 4.5 millimeters in length. Um, again, your torque driver, today's torque drivers, really don't give you the number. Uh, that you need to see and it's obviously 35 and 15 are there so you got to estimate just prior to 35 would be about there for 30 let me mark that so what you also could do is just take a magic marker and mark your your um, your torque driver so right about here and then 20 for the prosthetic screws screw is going to be right here between 15 and 20 is all you really need it's almost hand tightening okay anything beyond that and you're going to have a problem with threads uh, eventually if not the top of the screw head it's a lot easier to go back in and retighten something that that's still in good condition versus something that's broken off or stripped so again take note of the newer drivers okay so this happens to be Nobel's which was Brandemark so right about here would be 20 right about here would be 30 right. so back in the mouth to check Larry's case again we're looking through a dental microscope um, about the uh, power of about three and a half and we usually go between that and five and maybe eight power Again, we'll just dry that off. And Larry, just turn a little bit toward me. Great. Okay, so we'll put our driver back in. And I walked away for at least 10 minutes just to see if there's been any contraction uh, going on. I'm going to hold the top of the driver and we'll torque it down to 30 this is the first one so it goes down to 30 and that should be it right there that's 30 no more than that again if you're not seated properly um, that's uh, that's a pitfall so you gotta be careful um, Use your explorer and check. There we go. And we're just short now, just to show you where we are on this. Okay, so here's the the mark here. A little out of focus just to write about there. That's it. That's all you have to take it to. Um, where the screws did separate um, was in the neck of the screw itself. So it was where the threads were probably the, the smallest, you know, and engaging. So that's where the trouble was. Okay, so now we're going to go on top, change our drivers now. We're going to move now toward 
um, an internal hex. So this is external hex driver to pop that one out separate that. I like this driver from Nobel because it takes these right angle end drivers and locks them into a chuck. All right, a simple ratchet for those who you're used to using ratchets on automobiles uh, or anything. Uh, these same concept. Okay, so again now we're going to use a new number. It's 20. Okay, so don't go any further than that. 20. And so it's very close to hand tightening. Someone said they did studies on hand tightening and they found out that the average was 16 for hand tightening. So we're just going a little bit beyond, almost like a nudge. We're just nudging the needle just a little bit further uh, from that. Okay, so prosthetic screws are so small. Well, you drop them on the floor and good luck trying to find them. So here they are. And we'll just put this one and goes into 19. So there they are. Alrighty. And different ones, you know, if the labs did everything correct internally on the casting, they should bottom out pretty nicely. If there's any anything down inside the UCLA abutment if they didn't clean that out or ream it out enough sometimes these screws are a little offset so puts tension on the threads and then eventually it it it, um, it unscrews itself so that's another small pitfall but it's something that the lab needs to address and also the dentist needs to fit check the case so here we go we got uh, prosthetics ready to go in prosthetic screws on board um, our driver's a little long, so Larry, bear with me on this. Let's see if we get a shorter driver first, to just to put these in with. There we go. I'm gonna retract the lip a little bit. fine you can come out now turn a little toward me so I'm just gonna hold that and we'll switch hands to get once you get one started you should be good to go get a smaller driver let's see just the length there we go it engaged Small mirror. 